A mystery tonight after a Camp Pendleton Marine dies during a suspicious diving accident. Good evening, I'm Preston Phillips. Lifeguards tell 10 News it was an accident. A man on the boat suspects foul play. 10 News reporter Joe Little reveals why family members say the experienced diver should have been out there in the first place. Joe? Well, Preston, we're standing along a marina in Mission Bay. Right behind me is the Humboldt. We threw a light on it. Hopefully you can see it. it's a little dark out there. It's the boat on the right. That is the boat that took a scuba diving class out to the Pacific Ocean yesterday, and that is where the questions begin. This is video of investigators pushing the body of 23-year-old Stacy Jackson up the dock after it was recovered a mile off San Diego's beaches. On Saturday, the Camp Pendleton Marine was part of a dive class to the Yukon, a sunken Canadian destroyer. The dive master decided once they got down there, they was going, going across the top of the ship that it was uh, too dangerous. So he said, uh, let's go, let's go up. Jackson's uncle spoke to 10 News shortly after his niece's body was recovered. I've been a Marine for about two and a half years and uh, she just loved it out here. Harold Jackson says lifeguards told him the conditions were too choppy, too unsafe for any diving expedition. He was saying that the conditions were just bad out there. He's like, they should have canceled. But they didn't, and the Humboldt, which was rented for the diving class, steamed out to the Yukon. That's where stories between the lifeguards and a source on the Humboldt begin to differ. Lifeguards told Jackson's uncle she had trouble with her buoyancy apparatus and sank. Uh, he noticed that my niece was having problems with her buoyancy, uh, with the weight of it or something with the weight. Lifeguards say the current got Jackson tangled in some cables attached to the Yukon. But this is not the story given to 10 News by someone on the Humboldt. The witness says the man in charge of the dive was acting weird, speaking incoherently after the dive. Some divers went back down after Jackson and told our contact Jackson's feet were purposely bound together with a heavy gauge rope and tethered to the Yukon. They tried their best to free her body, but couldn't get through the knots and cable. However, lifeguards insist it was an accident and it was the currents which prevented them from finalizing their investigation until Sunday. But it was too dangerous for the crews to go out and make the recovery. Now we will be continuing to follow this story as long as it goes and hopefully bring you some of the answers to those questions coming up on later editions of 10 News and 10news.com. Until then, reporting live in Mission Bay, Joe Little, 10 News.